I'm Betty White, and you're watching the Veterinary News Network. Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Humphreys with the Veterinary News Network. Dogs can have a variety of back or spinal diseases and injuries. Slipped or protruding discs are very well known in long back breeds of dogs like dachshunds, for example. But a disease you may not have heard of can be very devastating. And I have an interesting case to show you. The disease is called Wobbler's Syndrome. This three-year-old rescued dog is very loved by his adoptive family. Tucker is a great Dane. But because he's adopted from a rescue, the family did not know his medical history or breeding. However, at about eight months after coming home, Tucker began showing some very subtle signs of lack of coordination and slipping on tile floors. Then one evening, in normal play, he yelped out with severe pain in his neck. The next day, routine x-rays of the neck revealed a suspicion of a cervical malformation in the last three neck vertebrae. He was sent to a specialist in neurology for an exam and even an MRI, exactly as we have in human hospitals. Of course, with dogs, it's done under a general anesthetic. Sure enough, the MRI shows very clearly three cervical vertebrae that are thickening and pressing inward on the spinal cord. This is called spinal stenosis, and it will cause slow progression of weakness and therefore the name Wobbler's syndrome and eventually it'll cause paralysis and unfortunately, early euthanasia. It is an unfortunate and sad disease seen in many breeds, especially common in Dobermans and Great Danes. The first signs are usually seen at four to six years of age in Dobermans, but much younger in Great Danes. The owners typically see their dog become wobbly or uncoordinated. This is known as ataxia. Now, while you may hear of cures such as feeding low calcium as puppies, gold bead implants and acupuncture, none of these things have been proven to be of real benefit. Some wobblers dogs can be managed on steroids and restricted activity, but the only real cure is a spine surgery called modified dorsal laminectomy. Dr. Stephen Lane, a board certified specialist and neurosurgeon in private practice at the Veterinary Referral Center, did this surgery on Tucker. It is an extremely delicate and precise operation. Special instruments are used to remove the tops of the affected vertebrae, which then decompress the spinal cord and allow it to function without the damaging pressure that will eventually cause pain and paralysis. Recovery is usually a week in the hospital and then 12 weeks of very restricted hand walking and cage rest. This allows the muscle to reattach to the operative area. Today, Tucker is recovered and a happy, healthy Dane that will live a normal life without worries of pain or paralysis. Even better, Tucker's owners had purchased pet insurance. The company paid 90% of the total bill. A perfect example of how pet health insurance really pays. Tucker's owners caught these symptoms early and both the veterinarian and the specialist worked together for a perfect outcome. This goes to show you how early detection of any problem and the help of the whole veterinary care team is so important. For the Veterinary News Network, I'm Dr. Jim Humphreys.